This is a short screencast to show you how to set up a table of contents on a Google site page. If you see here, we're, we are in a Google site page and right now you've got these content, no headings section, and that is actually a table of contents, um, but there's nothing in there. And so I'm gonna show you how to, to populate that automatically. So first I'm going to go in and edit the page so that you can see the different widget there. This table of contents, by the way, I'll go ahead and show you how you how to create that. This table of contents is uh, done by going to the insert menu and then clicking on table of contents. I wouldn't worry about any of these other things. Keep all your levels to all so you can see everything and then just click hit, hit save. And now we've got this table of contents widget that's in there. The table of contents widget is set up based on different headings and we've got h2 h3 h4 and those are the kind of like the headings and so when you go through your document you're going to want to um, apply some of these headings based on uh, the organization of your page so for instance the multiplication multiplication recall tips um, is something that's probably going to be a big heading and so the big heading is going to be h2 so I'm going to go down the format menu while I, my cursor is in that line and click on H2. And you'll see that it changes the font. It actually even puts a line down below it, which is kind of cool. And it gives you um, kind of that um, heading look. And then when I click save, because it's H2, you'll see now that my content shows that it's multiplication recall tips. Now, if I were to put something else, I want to show you how those other um, headings work as well. Let's say we've got multiplication recall tips and let's see that, let's see, we'll go like this, multiplication of four. Okay, because that's what that video is right there. Okay, and this is multiplication of six. Okay, and then we'll do one more, multiplication of eight. Okay, now, because this is kind of a subheading underneath the this particular heading, we're going to make uh, this a different heading. So under multiplication of four, you'll see that multiplication recall tips is heading two. And so we're going to try multiplication of four, and we're going to go format subheading three. And then under multiplication of six, we're going to go format subheading three, because it's kind of an equal to that other one. And then the same thing here subheading three and then once that's done and I hit save look at my table of contents it shows that h3 or I'm sorry h2 is a higher um, order in the hierarchy of of the page so you'll see it's section one multiplication recall tips and because the multiplication of four multiplication of six multiplication of eight were all done as heading three um, those show up as subsets of that and you can go through the entire document and set it up that way all right, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.